So now we have a good base for our form. We have a form that was built with semantic HTML, it's best practices. It's not table-based because we built it all with div tags and our field set. And in, in order to ensure cross-browser consistency, we implemented the Yahoo user interface CSS reset. So the next style from the next thing to do from here is to style this thing, right? So what I want to do is actually style the form similar to the original form we pulled from Responsomatic, and I want it to look similar to this. Now, in order, just looking at these two files, the first thing I'm going to need to do is get at least these check boxes, these input boxes over here, to align vertically to the right of all this other stuff. Now how how would I go about doing that? Well, I gotta think is that I actually have these are two elements side by side, right? This is a label element and an input element. First thing I think I could do is if I define a width for this label element, I mean because the reason why these things are all not vertically aligned is because some of this text is longer than the other. I mean, I, look, we see that name and email is almost perfectly aligned because they're they're the same amount of well, almost the same amount of letters, and it's just slightly, slightly different. So if we define a width for the label element, I have a feeling that it's going to push everything over this way. So let's see. So I'm going to go in my main.css and I'm going to create a a new style and what I'm going to do is redefine a tag right and the tag I'm going to I'm going to style is label make sure that if you're using Dreamweaver make sure that you're using it inside of main.css over there and I'll hit OK and here we go so I'm going to add a width of I don't know why don't we say 10 10 EMs for right now. What did that do? Well, that didn't do anything. Well, what's what's that about? I mean, so if well, let, let's see. You know what? We we can't be sure because sometimes Dreamweaver doesn't render these things perfectly. So let's actually take a look in Firefox and what it did. Uh, okay, it didn't do anything. Now, why is that? Well, something that you probably didn't think of is that along with width in this scenario, we're also, I mean this is not intuitive, we're going to need to use a float element and that's float left because we're going to want all these elements to kind of push to the left. So if we know that these these input boxes are being forced to be pushed to the left, let's just see what the result is. I don't want to make any assumptions, but I have a feeling that that's what it's going to take to get it to go. So we'll say float left. Oh, all right. So, well, it, obviously it did something, but not exactly what we wanted it to do. Well, what's going on here? Well, check this out. Now, the name and email fields are perfectly aligned because that width worked out. The what is your profession all of a sudden this text is wrapped around over here and it should actually just be straight ahead over here and then what is my B name required this is all messed up but it's actually the reason why is because we didn't find a width wide enough to accommodate all these things so you know there would be a different way to approach this if you didn't care this text wrap and you wanted this thing to to go below it there would be a different way to do it but that's not the effect we're going for so we're just gonna go for all this I mean if we look again at, at our first one all this is on one line and that's how I want it to look so before before I go crazy and try to add more code which is almost like the last thing you want to do see what what you got going on already because I think that's simply extending this a little bit uh, let's see just wait well, I'm gonna save it you know I again I don't want to assume that that's all right because you know you know you don't ever want to if you think something's gonna work but it doesn't get displayed in uh, Dreamweaver's design view look at it 
in um, in your browser because sometimes it doesn't render it exactly as it should. Voila! Not too shabby. Okay, so exactly what I was thinking is that if we kept on extending the width, it would actually give us this. Now, let's see if we actually take this float out. Is this float necessary? Because, you know, the less code is better. Ech. So you see what happened over here. That code is necessary because that's kind of defining a certain behavior. Again, it's not very intuitive, but a lot of times, I mean, not a lot of times, when you're working with floats, you the general rule is that you want to define a width for the element being floated to keep the actual um, the flow of the of of the text working properly. Now let's just take a look at this in every single browser. Okay, IE, it's aligned the way we want it, and Safari, aligned, and Firefox aligned. Good. 